next step is going to require that you have uh, Mozilla FTP client installed and you through your hosting company you should have information on how to FTP into your website. Um, it's usually FTP dot your domain dot whatever username password port 21 and then you connect. Um, and then when you go to your public HTML folder you should see a CGI bin folder. Okay. Uh, me, I have a bunch of subdomains so each of these folders is actually another domain so I'm going to use um, my CGI bin from um, one of my domains which is my name edfarious.com so in this CGI bin what we want to do first is we want to edit these PHP files we want to put in your username your password and your database name just like we had um, copied and pasted before after we created them you want to do that for both the get scores and for the save scores okay and all the rest of this um, if you want more information on how that works, you can ask. It's fairly easy. Um, I just want to say thanks to um, Pilfer, who actually posted um, this PHP file. I modified it a little bit, but he posted this one, which got me going in the first place. So big thanks to uh, Pilfer for that. So once you have both of those done, you're going to go ahead and just drag and drop them into that CGI bin on your server. Okay? So now they're in there, we can test them out real quick. So if we go to um, our browser, okay, I am at my domain, www.edfarious.com, slash cgibin, slash getscores.php. And you'll see when this runs right now, there's nothing. It's blank because there are no scores. And if we run the other one, save scores, um, it's telling us, hey, you did not pass these two variables. So when we actually make our URL in Construct2, it has to have this information. So let's just test it real quick. So we're going to add to the end of this a name of Frank and a score of 25,000. All right. So now we run this, it says, hey, your high score was saved. Congrats. So now if we go back to getscores.php, you'll see that our score is now here in one string and then we will parse out these pipes um, in construct2. So as you have, uh, as it returns the list of 10, it'll be a long string all divided by these pipes. Um, so that's it for this video. If you've got this far and you've got these two things to work, then everything in construct should be working perfect. Um, if you're having problems with this part, uh, post and maybe we can help you out. All right.